So you're, you're, hey, don't, don't pick on me, stop. You guys are false advertising. What's going on guys, Tom Davis here. I am at the Upstate Canine Academy and I have a session for you guys with a young, huge German Shepherd coming in. This German Shepherd is jumping on their owners, pulling them down, all of the puppy stuff that everyone deals with except it's a giant, pushy, intact German Shepherd. We're gonna go through step-by-step step how to create a better relationship with this dog as well as how to teach the owners what to do if their dog pulls, jumps, bites. He's a huge biter, it's, it's kind of scary because he's huge. But anyway, let's get into it guys, come on. How you guys doing? So why don't you just explain to me what's going on? Um, he'll nip at uh, my legs, my arms, he'll jump and nip to get my attention. Yes, was it yesterday when I told him to get down? He growled at me. Yeah. I got bruises everywhere. He jumped on the back of me and he, and he re-injured one of my chronic, my shoulder, my Ouch, neck. ouch. You guys are false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he's a bad dog. Ernest, sit. You wanna go down? Come down, come down. All right, um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna to switch to one of my training leashes over here. So a couple things about the, the prong is it's not, it's not uh, sized properly. See how big this is? Yeah. This should be actually here. So we just took one of the, one of the links out. Okay, so it's nice and snug right behind his ears. Mm -hmm. That's where you want your prong. Okay, and All right. is it okay to keep that on 24 seven? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep it on 24 seven because you don't need it 24 seven. Okay, so like at bedtime? Take it off. Take it off? Oh, when he's, when he's really not on the leash, you can take it off. How do you take it off? It, all you do is you pinch the prongs. Oh, simple. Easy peasy. Jeez. Pinch on. Pinch off. And then, yep, pinch off. Okay. That's it. He's beautiful. Thanks. Come. Yes, buddy. Good man. Off. So we're going to be very assertive with the things that we want to do. So I'm just asking him to do very basic things. Come. Yes, buddy. Good boy. I'll just go over the things that you should be introducing to, to your dog in the beginning. Okay. Heel mm -hmm. is when your dog is on your left side, loose leash like this, and you're moving forward. Off is when the dog comes up and we say off, off and we correct the dog off, okay? We don't say down because down is a completely different thing. It's natural for us to say down because they come up, we say down, but it's not really down. The break command is something that we say to the dog when we want them to disengage. Right now he's on his break. So we say break, okay, break. be a dog, do what you want, I don't care. Okay. Good man, good job. Yeah, so see how he's, well, he's big, he's a big puppy. So he doesn't realize, so when your dog is biting you like this, yeah. you, have, you have to, off, no. You have to assertively tell him like that's inappropriate. He's biting me and then I correct him and I say, no, don't. Just like any other dog would do out in the, in daycare, if he's playing, if he's playing with another dog and he's too rough, they're gonna correct him. It's we talk about natural dog training. So when he fights you like this, yeah. off. Oh, got nasty. Not really. That that's not. That that's not nasty. Okay. Is he fixed? Not yet. Unneutered dogs get very confrontational. Break. Just ignore him when he, just ignore him. Ignore him? Ignore him, yep. And the reason why I say ignore him is because he's whining to get to you. Mm -hmm. Cause he's like, mom, dad, this guy's making me work, oh. <laughs> Right? And then he goes to you and you guys, oh, it's okay, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm the bad guy. All these months, doing it wrong. <laughs> I've been interested in dogs since I was a little kid and what, and what makes them tick. And I used to walk dogs for a living. That was my first real dog training thing. When I was like 20, I started that business. I sold it, but the dogs with the harnesses versus the dogs with the prong collars. I, I, my back still to this day is messed up because of that. And it wasn't until I started really getting into like helping my owners train that I realized that there was like this political thing of like, we don't punish our dogs. No, 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 we don't do that. And you're like, okay, well, I'm not gonna walk your dog anymore because my back, and that's why they hired me because they couldn't walk their dog. I'm gonna give the leash to you guys and I want you to handle them. Off. 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 What am I doing 
wrong? There's a lot of things you're doing wrong, so let me see it. You're afraid of him, first of all. So that and I and I completely understand that he's a big boy. But you have to be I'm not really afraid of him. Well you're 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 you're, yeah, you're cowering wicked. I mean, you're like, don't, don't, please don't. For me, I go off, bang, and I don't even move. You're, you're, hey, don't, don't pick on me, stop, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And your voice tells him, no, don't. You have to be, so he's doing this because he's getting a reaction out of you. Okay. So you have to be a little bit more assertive. And when you correct the dog, it's a big deal. <laughs> you have to be very precise when you correct him. And you also have to reward him when he, does something good. Do you think we've screwed him up? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. No bad dogs, remember? Yeah, I know. Bad, <laughs> but, yeah. When you ask him to do something, don't give him pressure. When we say heal, don't do that. You don't want to ask and correct at the same time. Gotcha. So you're going to say his name, heal. If he doesn't, a little bit of pressure. Good heal. Heal. Good heal. Good. Sit. Pressure. So use your Good sit. use your collar too. Good. So yeah. So the and here's why is there's a consequence for non-compliance when we say sit and he's like oh, I don't want to sit. Mm -hmm. If we force him, it's he's waiting for that force, mm -hmm. and he's like I'll just wait for you to make me. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is say sit and he's like mm, no. Consequence. Pressure. Doesn't matter if it's on a prong, harness, slip collar, whatever you're using. You don't want to say. Nah, make him sit, you want to say sit. No, okay, pressure. Cause he's, he's, he's literally just saying, I'm not listening to you. Mm -hmm. So heal him back this way and let's do that sit again. Good. Good Slow down a little bit and just ask him to sit. Ernest, sit. Pressure up on your leash. <coughs> sit. Good. Good sit. There you go. I mean, you guys have a lot of work to do, but work on everything and remember to help each other out um, and, and, and making sure you're communicating properly and be firm. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of things, you know, like when he, he, you're, it's so easy for us to get like, oh, here it is again, it's frustrating. You just have to be assertive. Nope, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. Let's go potty. All right, you guys. Oh, Lola, go potty girl. That's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys watching, but also I hope you learned something. This was like a really pushy dog and um, the owners are now, they now, they now have the ability and the skill sets and the knowledge and the know-how to, to understand what to do, how to do things uh, to progress. So we're certainly not trained and fully out of the woods, but it's definitely better than where they were. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel. We put videos out like this every single week. I will talk to you next time. Peace.